Hi, I'm Andrew Burns from Nomadic Arena UCC. This is a high intensity interval training class. This is quite a hard class, okay? There'll be a five minute warm up. We'll do each exercise for 60 seconds in the five minute warm up. Then we're going to a main circuit of five exercises. You will have 40 seconds during the exercise period and then 20 seconds off. So there's twice as much work as there is rest. So this will get your heart racing, you will feel out of breath, and it's quite tough. The core section will be the exact same. There will be two exercises, 40 seconds hold, 20 seconds off. This entire workout will take approximately half an hour. Okay, let's get ready to warm up. And we'll start with jumping jacks. So feet together, oh, we come nice and wide again. You're trying to warm up here now. Take your time, let your body open up. The main workout may be tough, but in the warm up, just get yourself moving. Each time, open your body, get some flexibility in. So there's a nice combo in the warm up of cardiovascular exercises and some mobility. Make sure you're fully opened up for this circuit. 20 seconds there now. Gently increase the pace. That's it. Good stuff. 10 seconds left now. And we'll change to a lunge and a twist. Okay, right. So, feet hip distance apart. Drop back. Down. Round the other side and twist. So I step back on my right foot, I went around to my left. Step back on my left foot, around to my right. Take your time with this now. Sit down, don't let the back knee touch the floor. Get down as deep as you can, open up, and turn around. That's it. Upright tall as a tree, twist at the torso, maybe look over your shoulder. 20 seconds now, and I'm going to change again. Again, focus on opening a bit more each time. If you're starting to notice you're getting a little bit more flexible, that's okay. That's the most to happen. There we go, there we go. There we are. Nice split set, rotate around. Okay. Right, jump rotations, feet of distance apart, just swivel the hips. I'm gonna take a nice arc now, okay? Try and imagine that you're trying to draw a circle with your hips. You take them out as far as you can go, you swivel around, bring your tummy forward and dip the hips back around. Go one way and change, turn the other way. Nice and easy. Just let your hips open. And this is your trunk rotation. Just trying to make sure that everything in your trunk, your hips, your spine, are open and ready for work. And again, now don't be afraid to change direction as often as you like. Okay, very good. Right. Next exercise is just a hip circle. You should find this easier having done the rope. Yep, trunk rotation. Right knee up, take it out, and down. Out, and down. I'm gonna go one each side for this one. But I'm trying to keep the knee nice and level. Get it off your pipe, take it out to the side, and then around and down. Go all the way around, try to make a circle with your hip. Try to keep your hips as steady as you can each time. That's it. Keep it up now. Again. Bit of a combination of mobility work and cardio work. We're going to do a double heel kick now next just to finish us off with a warm up and get ourselves ready for our main circuit. Okay, we've got a tough workout in mind for you today. Okay, you're going to stick with it though, you're going to finish it. Okay, right, when you're ready now, into a double heel kick. So feet just wider than hip distance apart. One, two, and chest press coming in next now. So we've got two heel kicks, and as you're doing the heel kicks, pushing out each time. 
and that's it. Imagine you're pushing something off your chest. Okay, get the hands out, push away. And that's it, double it up, boom, boom, one, two, boom, one, two. That's it, going slightly to the side each time. Transfer the weight, and get that heart rate up. Good, and that's it. Twenty seconds now. Keep it going. Push away. Double it up. Go right over each side. Tap the toe. And up. That's it. Good work. Good job. Okay. Right. Forty seconds of work. Step back. Jump. Back, slip, jump, and then change. So we land before we lunge. We land up, we fall, we flip the legs a little, we come down. Okay, but we're landing in a largely straight position. Okay, jump up, and then control our lunge down. Up, take the lunge down. Flip, I usually tell people to try and land. 20 seconds. Next up we have boxing. We go one, two, three, four, five, five squats. One, two, three, four, five. Again, now you're only gonna have 20 seconds. Make the most of them. Get a quick drink if you need to. Okay, square. Right, one, two, three, four, five punches. One, two, three, four, five squats. Right, punches, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, squats. And you're gonna notice the squats, and we're gonna start to get harder. One, two, three, four, five. The punches, right there, to give your legs a small bit of relief, but there's only five of them. I'm not giving you any room, really, to recover. There's no little cheating in this exercise. You gotta do the five squats. Five fast punches and then back down again. One, two, three, four, five. Right. 20 seconds. Take a quick drink if you need to. Next up is the Spider Man press up. So, I'm going to demonstrate this to the front and from the side. So, get into a press up position, hands underneath the shoulders. Right, I do my press up, my right leg comes around. Up, touch the knee. Drop down, left leg comes up, touch the knee. I know what you're thinking, my God, why is he doing that? Challenge, that's what we're doing. Right? Put all the way through your chest. That's what you're doing. Right, right, I'm gonna go from the side, keep going. You can watch what I'm doing now. It is the first round, but I'm down, and then I bring the knee up, and I'm touching it off my elbow. Okay, I'm being militant about that. Really try. That's it. One more, come on. Good. All right, tell the girl. Next up we have the burpee. I'm gonna demonstrate that from the side at the start. Okay. You're not jumping with the burpee. You're walking it in, you're walking it out. But you are coming to the top. So I'll explain what I mean now in a second with that. What I mean is you're not jumping the feet in. So you start in the press up position. Walk the feet in, jump. I right, drop it down, walk the feet in, up, that's it, walk them in, jump, come on, keep it going, that's it, up we come, so we're walking the feet, two, up, maybe later on, I'll get you to jump the feet in, that's it, this will get you going, alright, keep it up, Twenty seconds. Right, four raising run next. I call this a trolley run as well. The legs are pushing a trolley. Right. You're going to be out of breath during this a lot. I'm probably not going to talk as much in this video because I'm going to be doing the work. Right, hands up. Right, run. No matter what, don't leave your hands down. Okay, you're adding intensity. With this, your legs have to do all the work. 
with your feet right now. Okay, and all the balance that is coming normally from your arms can't happen because you're keeping your arms in this position. Okay, so when you normally run, you're going like this. That's not happening right now. So your core has to compensate for that. Your legs have to do more work to compensate for that too. Come on, pick it up, 10 seconds. Come on, push, push. Keep it up, keep going, all the way to the bell. 20 seconds. Right, going back to the split squat. What we're gonna do now with the split squat this time, we're gonna try and jump, so we come back, feet together. Hard to do, you've seen it was hard for me in the last one. Took me a second to get the hang of it again. But we'll see how we get now with this one. Right, get ready. Step back, drop down, jump up. Step back, jump up. Feet in line, they're not necessarily together. Feet in line. Get them straight from the front. Drop back, nice split stance. Jump. Back, nice split stance. Up. There we are. That's the one. Come on, you were doing great. Keep it up now. Jump each time. Drive the front heel into the floor each time. Bite in on your glute. That's it. Swing the arms. There's no harm in getting the arms involved. Alright, oh, another round of split squat stuff. We can't get rid of that exercise fast enough. That is a toughie. Right, stick with it. Remember now, next up, boxing, five punches, five squats. You get a little bit of relief from the squatting with the five punches, but it's over so fast, you're basically squat, 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 squat for 40 seconds. Right, square, one, two, three, four, five, drop, one, two, three, four, five squats. Five punches, one, two, three, four, five, down again. One, two, three, four, five. Five punches, one, two, three, four, five. Over really quick, I'm getting you to squat. And because I'm getting you to box, you have to come all the way up and tall to box. So you get full range of motion with just at least one squat each time. One, two, three, four, five. In other words, we're making you work harder. That's it, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good stuff. Spider-Man press-up is next. Okay. Again, no. 40 seconds work, 20 seconds off. You better be quick to grab your drink if you need it, because the time on rest is over like that. And as if to emphasize that, go down again. Right, press-up, drop down, swing the leg out. Come on, get it up. This is called a Spider-Man press-up. You drop down, keep your chest off the floor, push up, and then get that knee around to the side. Here we are. We're doing this. Push. Push. That's it. Don't be afraid if you need a couple of seconds. Take it. But keep working. That's it. Good work here. Keep it up. There we go. There we are. Good stuff. Right, we're doing a burpee. There's no jump when we're in the press up position. There's only jump when we get the feet underneath our chest. And then we get up. You're doing really well now. Stay with us. Again, this is high intensity work. There's lots of work to do. That's it, drop down. Walk the feet in, once you get two feet on you jump a little. Walk them back. Up! Come on. Up! That's it. You've got to have drive and determination to do this. Okay? The high intensity exercise is very effective for building your fitness and building your health. But the problem is that it's so hard. Most people can't last. So what we draw on is we draw on their motivation. Give them as much help as they can. 20 seconds. Nearly through round two. Don't worry. You're gonna get through this. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Arms up. Run. Come on, run it up. Get your legs doing all the work of normal running. Because your hands are held up, your shoulders are burning. 
This is good all about the exercise. Push that high, come on. Keep it going. Nice and high. 20 seconds. Hands up. That's it. Keep it up, 10 seconds. Keep it up. Push, push, push all the way. Don't let up until that buzzer goes off. Right, we're halfway through. Come on, we can do this. Keep it up now. Remember, motivation, meaning of the word, comes from movie, Latin, meaning to move. So you have to move first, and then you become motivated. Okay, so let's put the emphasis on moving. Back we come. Jump! Back we come. Jump! Doing really well. Keep with it now. Go at your own pace. This is about you now. Taking the time to do this video. Good work. And I get my feet back in line. That's it. Nearly there now. Keep it up. That's it. Up. Come on, you're nearly there. Up. That's the one. Good work. Alright. Alright, 20 seconds. Boxing on next. You'll notice that I'm getting your legs involved in every single move. Your legs are big muscles. If your heart has to pull what's going on in your legs, your heart rate has to go up. If your heart rate goes up, you're gonna get health benefits. Right. One, two, three, four, five, one, squats, come on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, let's reset. One, two, three, four, five in a bunch. One, two, three, four, five in squats. One, two, three, four, five. Squats. One, two, three. Four, five. Five punches, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, get five more squats. One, two, all right, you didn't get there. Sorry, I lost myself in that one. Sometimes I just get taken up with the squats. All right, 10 seconds. And then we're going Spider-Man press up. I'm right, gonna do these facing to the side, but the premise is pretty much the same. Hands underneath the shoulders. Drop down, get the chest as close to the floor without touching as you can. Wrap the leg around. All right, let's do it. Down, there you go. Down, there you go. Go at your own pace now. See what you can do. That's it. Here we go. Remember now, don't touch. All the emphasis. The body weight that's being shifted forward from your leg not being stabilized or not stabilizing on the floor. That is going onto your chest and you're building chest strength because of it. That's it. Right. This makes my bench press look. All right. That makes my bench press look terrible. That shows you what you can do with body weight. Okay, you get creative. Spider-Man press up. Very good work. Right, get ready for the burpee. All right. Right, press up position. Right, walk the feet in. Once you've got them in under you, chug. And bring yourself all the way back up. Remember, walk the feet in. Oh, there's only a very slight jump with this, and there's a slight jump for a reason. I've already had you jumping, and I've had you squat. Okay? This is a hard class, but I don't want to make it impossible. Okay? So I'm giving you enough rope to maneuver with this one. Especially in the last one, which is the next one. You're really good to feel that. That's it. Come on. That's it. 20 seconds. Here we are. All right. There is no harm being blown out by this workout. Big deep breaths. Water's off as you need it. Right, get ready. Hands up. Run. Just be consistent here. Get the arms up. There's a lot of upper body work in this workout as well. Between the press up, the burpee, and 
the punches. You are working and this exercise. Lots of whole body activity going on here. Keep the hands up, don't let them drop. It's tempting. Don't do it. Keep it up. Tap the feet. Tap, 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 tap. 10 seconds. Come on, just last the course. You don't need to go fast, you just need to last. That's what you need to do. You're in survival mode right now. 20 seconds. There we go. Okay. All right. Back to the top. One more round. Get a sip of water in, quick. All right, come on. Let's do this, let's do it right. Drop it down, up. Drive the heel, drive it, each time. There's no need to do this fast. All you need to do is do it right. It's an explosive move. It will draw on your muscle. Jump nice and high. If you're a team sport player, you do this all the time. You just don't do it as deep. Pull the core tight now when you're done. You're gonna lose balance if you just saw me do there. You gotta compensate for that. Good. Yep. Nearly there. One more. Come on. Push. One more round. 20 seconds. Boxing and five squats. You're doing great. Stay with it. You can hear my breath on this routine. That's okay. This is a hard workout. I told you that at the start. You need an extra minute. Take it. But come back and finish. Right. I'm not going to get carried away this time. Five punches. One, two, three, four, five. Five squats. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five punches. Five squats. Two, three, four, five. Five punches. One, two, three, four, five. Long hands. Come on, squats. Feel the burn in your legs. I can feel it. I don't want to go down, but I am going down. I'm twitching. I can feel it. And I want to do some more because I want to finish. That's it. 20 seconds. Two exercises of five in the last round. Done. You've got three more to go. Spider pressure, burpee, forward raising one. Stick with it. You've got 90 seconds of work in the main circuit left. Spider man press up. Let's go. Hand down, press up, drop down, pull it. Your knee up, drop down, pull the knee up. You probably won't do as many this time. That's okay. Keep going. Just drive it through. If you want motivation, move. You will become motivated. Okay? That's it. Move first, motivation follows. Keep it up. Come on, Nassim. Ah, one more. Yeah. 20 seconds. Good. Keep it up. Two more to go. 60 seconds of work. You worked hard for 60 seconds before and you've beaten things. You're going to do it again. Follow me, I'll lead the way. Press up position. Barking. Feet come in. Jump. I bet you can feel now why I didn't get you jumping up earlier with the feet in this position. And I told you to walk in, you probably thought it was easy. And now you're thinking, great. Thank God that did. That was the way my legs are dead. And that's good. Keep it going. Jump when you get the feet under your chest. Come on, keep going. Up. Push. There we go. That's it. Whew. Oh. You got one more exercise left. One more. Big deep breaths. Hands have to stay up for this one. If you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail on the hands. Nobody has a problem moving their feet. Right. Hands up. Don't drop it. You have a tray of food, turn the palms up. You have a tray of food, don't drop the tray. Okay? 
Do not drop the tray. You can turn the palms over if you want to. But don't drop the tray of food. Okay? Don't do it. Keep it up. Push, push, push. Tap, tap, tap. One foot in front of the other. This could not be any tougher, but you're making it look easy. Well done. Keep it up. Five seconds. Stay with me now. Hands up. My arms are burning. That's good. 20 seconds. Grab your towel. Get ready for some core work. Main circuit is done. Six minutes left. 20 seconds in between each one. So you have a minute taken off. In every tree. Right, down we come. On to the elbows. Right. Right hand up. Then down. Left leg up. Left leg up. Then right leg up. Just keep going around the world. You do an arm, you do its opposite leg. You remove the base of support each time. Two seconds each time. Okay? That's what you do. Want to do two arms together? Go ahead. Be my guest. Or maybe not two arms together. One arm, one leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Sorry about that. Hey. Okay, five seconds. We're going to do it again. We're going to do the core work continuously. In other words, we're going to do it back to back. There's only two exercises. There's this and the cross body multiplier. Right, let's go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Two seconds either side. Come back, steady yourself each time. And remember what I showed you in the last one. You want to just go hand up and foot up. Do it. But I'm going to try and do the hardest part each time. That's it. 10 seconds. Keep moving. Stay up. That's it. Down we come. One more round. You're doing great. Sip of water. Take it. All right. Right, focus here. If you have to, just hold the plank, okay? Right, up and hold. Get steady. Right, let's try and move. Move the arms and the legs. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Stay steady each time. Give yourself about two seconds of a hold. You're doing really well. Keep it up. Stay where you are. If you're finding it tough, don't break the plank. Stay where you are each time. That's it. Here we are. And All right. Cross body mountain climber next. So, Let's take the first one, let's learn how to do it. Press up position. Up we come. Right, right leg to left knee. Left leg, left knee to right elbow. You're going to cross the body. Keep the hips nice and low. Keep the hands over the shoulders. This is going to be tough. You've done a lot of work today. Keep moving each time. That's it. Keep it going. Each time. Just move the legs. Nice concerted move. That's it. There we are. Alright, you feel that right across the abdominal wall and you're going to continue to feel it throughout the next two rounds. You have got two by 40 seconds left. That's 80 seconds of work. Okay. You can do this. All right, let's go. Let's get back to the mountain climber. Up we come. Right knee to left arm. Left knee 
right elbow, right knee, left elbow. Take it nice and slow with this. There's no need to do it quick, okay? It's a different kind of exercise when you're doing it quick. I'm doing it slow to get the burn on your core. And I want you to do it right and keep the hips nice and down, okay? You will break the line in the hip with this exercise because you're going across the hip. That's inevitable. But I want you to try and keep it as level as you can, right? And I certainly don't want it going above your shoulders. Okay? So keep them nice and low. Alright. Alright, you've got one more with this now. One more. Okay? Alright, let's do it. Get ourselves in a good position. Do the first one. Right knee to left elbow. Left knee to right elbow. Nice and steady. I'm concentrating on this. All the other exercises today, I was pushing them all the way. Go, 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 go. This is different. It's a little bit slower, but it's still as painful as ever. Keep going. Push, 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 push. Okay, 20 seconds break. Well done. That's it. Deep breaths. Good stuff. I'm Andrew Burns. I'm the Lifestyle and Physical Activity Manager in the Mardic Arena UCC. That was a high intensity interval training workout. Well done, you completed a hard workout. If you liked this video, please share it with a friend. Please come back and visit us as often as you like. Stay safe, stay active.